Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. I actually should probably start calling my channel Camaro Madness. Seems like that's all I've been building lately. Anyhow, this is my Camaro concept car. It's a snap tight kit. My uh, kids gave this kit to me a couple of years ago and uh, I kind of sat on it for a while and I thought about, you know, snap tight kits just not being worthy of, you know, my time and everything but um, judging on the way that this one turned out uh, I believe I was wrong about that so it's molded in a gray plastic so I had to do some painting uh, the interior was completely black it had very little detail in it so what I did was uh, and by the way this is the same car that has been or the same model that has been in the super clean bath three times and you all know that from some of my previous videos so finally got it done anyway uh, very obvious uh, the two-tone paint job so I wanted to give it something a little different a little special paint job and I think that turned out real nice now I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up real well or not I can't see it that well but the hood and the trunk stripes are actually carbon fiber decals. So I did the, uh, the carbon fiber on this and it really, really sets this thing off. It looks magnificent, at least in person. I hope the camera does uh, the, the same justice for it. I tinted the windows. I put a uh, tinted stripe on the front windshield and the back window has been tinted and uh, something that I've recently learned uh, using automotive window tent scraps. So it actually works out really well. Now, um, I did strip the chrome off of these wheels and I painted them with a, uh, a wheel paint that I found and uh, gives them more of an aluminum look instead of a chrome look, which I uh, really like. It kind of offsets this, uh, this two-tone paint job on the car. Painted the turn signals on the front end here um, in the grill. Those were not uh, not even listed in the kit as, as being something that should be done. But uh, painted the side marker lights and all that. The interior, uh, I wished I'd actually taken some photos before I put it all together. But uh, detailed the interior quite a bit too. So that took some time. But all in all, uh, I would say that for a snap tight kit this thing turned out looking really nice now I do have another snap tight kit um, this one I'm actually gonna try and get my wife to build it so we'll see what happens with that uh, that's virtually the same kit really except it's got uh, two sets of decals in it and uh, everything else is almost identical uh, oh, the glass. Um, the glass in that, that new snap tight kit has the black already painted around the edges of the window where this kit that I've got is an older kit and it does not have the glass. Now here's something else I thought was uh, kind of interesting is if you look at the bottom of this one, see if you can see it here, it says level three. Whereas this other snap tight kit right here is level one. And uh, like I said, it's virtually the same kit, so I don't know uh, what that whole level thing is about. But anyway, I'm done with my snap tight. Um, this is the third Camaro that I've actually got done in a row. I did my SMWG Cancer Awareness Tribute build, my 19, or excuse me, my 2016 Black Concept. And then I built a, uh, a diecast 2017 ZL1. And now, of course, I got this one done. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of Camaro crazy here. Uh, Camaro crazy on Ed's Model Madness. Anyway, hope you guys uh, like taking a look at the model here, seeing what, uh, what I've managed to get done with it. And... Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and go ahead and uh, hit that notification button too so you know when I'm doing a new video. Again, 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. God bless each and every one of you, and y'all have a really, really great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.